With its roots in Africa, the banjo is perhaps mostly closely associated with styles of American music like country, folk, and bluegrass, according to Smithsonian Music. Early on, banjo was also used in jazz, according to Banjology from Duke University. Like all genres of music, there are sad and happy songs written in all four of these styles, and many examples of each type of music feature the banjo. More often than not, though, banjos are associated with happy music written for a celebration and dancing. Could that link between happy energy and the banjo have something to do with the instrument itself, or could there be something about the banjo that makes it better suited for playing happy tunes rather than sad ones? According to the Empirical Music Review in 2014, two researchers from the University of Ohio State University and one from the University of Virginia teamed up to find out if that might be the case. The same can be said for how sad people sound when they speak, though this research was also found that more often than not, stringed instruments like the viola sound most sad to listeners due to the instrument's capacity to produce tones of that nature, notably slow, quiet, and at a low pitch, and are also not often used to describe the sounds made by banjos, whether four-string tenor jazz banjos or five-string bluegrass banjos, or the rest of the variations of the instrument. To reach the conclusion in the study, the three researchers asked participants to respond to two surveys from a field of 44 instruments. The first survey asked how often each instrument was used to play a sad song. And while the second question asked their opinion how capable the instrument was of producing sad sounds, according to those results, music written for the viol cello is most often sad, while music written for the snare drum is typically the opposite. The three researchers then asked participants to rank how capable each instrument was of playing tones, tempos, at volumes most often linked with sad music, and in those results, the acoustic guitar ranked the most able to play a sad song, while the wood block landed on the other end of the spectrum. In both survey results, the banjo also ranked near the top for an instrument best suited to play happy music and the least capable of producing sad sounds per empirical musical review. So the next time you listen to bluegrass music with the banjo and find yourself inclined to clap and dance, just know science is on your side.